Cisco here. Um, pretty bored today. Didn't have to go to work. So I decided to make a video on the Hobie Compass. Okay, so I'm on my way to look at my kayak right now. Um, I'm probably going to do videos of me on it for the first time. And then like an actual review. So it'll be a good mixture. So you can see um, that I like how it looks on the water. I'm not sure if I recorded me standing on it, but I was able to stand on the kayak and it was pretty windy that day, I'm not gonna lie. First time on the Hobie Compass. Have to say it's pretty amazing kayak. Um, definitely don't understand why so many people were crying about the seat. I haven't, haven't had a problem with it yet. Um, it feels great. It's really stable. I think it's more stable than the Outback, honestly. Um, turns on a dime. Um, I, I really don't have a complaint about this kayak. One thing that is kind of true, it's not really a big problem, but it's a little bit hard to put the paddle in. I mean, how often are you paddling with the Hobie, you know? Alright guys, here's my Hobie Compass. Um, I do rent out a storage for it because I live in an apartment and I have no space for it. But, mm, this cost me, I believe, $2,150 something dollars. Uh, somewhere near that, I'll post the correct price up there. Um, I bought this at Fishing Tackle Unlimited here in Houston. You guys were pretty helpful. Um, it does come with a circle hatch in here. I got it switched out with the square hatch and actually got the circle hatch put in up in the front. Uh, mostly I'm going to use this to put a battery in there because I'm going to get a fish finder installed on here. So that I'll hardly ever be touching this one. I do like the concept of this. It's pretty nice. It looks way better. Um, compared to the Outback. I think if you're looking for a new kayak and you can't decide on which Hobie to get, I would definitely get this one. The Outback, it's going to cost you a couple hundred dollars more, but for two thousand dollars, I honestly think this is, like, you, this should be your go-to kayak. One thing I like better about it is that it's way more stable than the Outback. Um, the Outback has, like, layers. Here and this is, this is just flat, which I love that. I don't see why they do that on the Outback. I'm not a fan of it at all. But that's them, you know. Uh, it has a built-in cup holder, which I love. It comes in really handy. I usually keep some gold in the cup, and it fits in perfectly. It doesn't move anywhere. Mm. Well, one upgrade I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install the H rail from here to here on both sides. And then I'll add the fish finder on this side, some rod holders on that side for trolling. Now the seat, a lot of people on the reviews I saw and whatnot, they hated the seat, that it moves around all over the place, that it's uncomfortable. Well, I personally don't think that's true. Um, I've sat in this for about 10 hours at once, and had a single problem, so I don't see what all the fuss is about. Um, literally. You just strap it in, clip it on, nothing is not going anywhere. Super comfortable, it has the back support. You know, I mean, I, I don't, even with my PFD on, it's still completely comfortable. The Mirage Strife is not the 180, it doesn't come with the 180. The 180 would cost you about $800 separately. One thing I would like is if they can just, you can just pay the $200 difference to get the 180, but I don't plan on getting it anytime soon. Um, this is where the Mirage Rack would go, I don't have the wooden because I keep it at home. But, you just push that back, pops it out, push it in, and goes right in. Um, one thing I really do love about this kayak is you can take out your Mirage Rack, you can just light it in there, it fits in there perfectly, it doesn't get in your way, it doesn't do anything bad. But, you really hardly ever have to do that because you just pull your lever back, and you would have just clip it, and it hits it along the bottom. 
of the kayak. Um, it does come with two rod, rod holders. Uh, sometimes I do get some water in there, but it's not a big deal. I just take right out. Um, the back space is huge. Um, I have no complaints for that. I keep my milk crate. I usually keep a little backpack with a sandwich. Um, sometimes I put my PFD in here. Sometimes I don't like wearing it when it's not super windy and I'm super shallow. I know I'll be okay. Um, it does come with the rudder, obviously. And the rudder is amazing. Um, I heard a lot of complaints about it too that it doesn't track well. Well, I haven't had that problem. I think the most I've gone out in is about 20 miles an hour winds, maybe more. So I don't see what the big fuss is about. It does come with two carry handles. It's a pretty heavy duty. These things aren't going anywhere. It says Hobie on them. Hobie cat. Um, the really only problem I've had with this kayak, and it's really not that big of a deal, but I keep my, this is your only rod holder, or your powder holder, my bad. It goes in right here, then you clip it on, and it's much easier to do outside of the kayak than inside of the kayak, but this and this sometimes can get in your way. Um, that's really the only problem, but I mean, they have this, so you can just do it easier, you know? I saw one video of this guy with his paddle here, and he lifted it up, threw his rod in the water. I personally do not understand how that happened. I keep rods on both rod holders. Taking out my paddle, trying it out, not even close to happening, so I really don't understand how that guy did that. Um, I will put some videos up on me on the water with it. I'll post a couple of pictures of some fish I've caught in it. But all in all, I'd give this kayak probably a nine and a half out of ten. Only not the ten because of the little rod prop of the paddle problem. But if you're looking for a new kayak, the Hobie Compass is definitely your, should be your top choice. I'm getting another one actually in a couple, like probably three months when I move to a house for my girlfriend, fiance. Um, so we can go kayaking together. Um, I would give her my old kayak, but I'm giving this away to one of my friends most likely because I'll have no need for it, and I know she wouldn't like it. I don't have a a proper stand for it. I just keep it in this for the time being. Um, I probably won't buy one until I move out and uh, to a house instead of the apartment. But yeah, um, this is it, the Hobie Compass, amazing kayak, definitely should check it out if you're looking for one. I would definitely get this over the Outback any day of the week. And to me, the square hatch is a must. Thanks for watching.